In this tutorial we're going to look at the Proseg DATS Hammer software and the effect of the three options save FRF results, save FRF and coherence and save FRF coherence and time series and we're going to look at the effect of each one of those three options. Before we begin I need to select a results folder where we're going to save the data and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and I'm going to call it Hammer Impact and I'm going to save a test control file, all of the information here as well and I'll save that in the same place and I'll call that setup I'm going to perform a very simple test I'm going to give it a very simple description So I give it a very simple description there. I just have a simple test which has three nodes and I'll be using a uniaxial accelerometer for my response and I'll have only one component. It's a very very simple test. I'll be working on a beam so my component name is beam and I'll be moving the impact hammer from node to node with a fixed accelerometer so it'll be the roving excitation mode. I'll be using response window and excitation windowing and my response position will be node 3 and nodes 1 and 2 will solely be impact positions. It's uniaxial. I'll be impacting in the positive x direction and my response will also by chance be in the positive x direction. So I'm simply going to detect the P8000 that I've got connected, set up the signals and set up some of the parameters about the signals I need to set the sensitivity for the hammer which is 2.25 and the sensitivity for the accelerometer which is 1.04 and in this particular case I'm going 